Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about PROC Transpose. This video is based on the paper, Simplifying Effective Data Transformation, via PROC Transpose. The link to this paper is listed below. There are six statements in the Transpose procedure, and eight options in the PROC Transpose statement. These statements and options are used to apply different types of data transpositions and to give the resulting data set a different appearance. Let's start with an example for transposing the entire data set. We will use DAT1 as an example. The program starts with reading this data set from the data lines. Notice that variables E1, E2, and E3 are being labeled in the data step. In this example, only the out equals option is used in the PROC transpose statement. The out equals option is used to specify the name of the transpose data set. Here's the transpose data set with the default format. By default, without specifying the names of the transposing variables, all the numeric variables from the input data are transposed. Variables E1 to E3 from the input data set are transposed to two variables with default variable names, call1 and call2. The names of the transposed variables from the input data set are stored under variable underscore name underscore. Since E1 to E3 are assigned with labels when we read in the data, these labels are stored under the variable underscore label underscore. As you can see, SAS assigns default variable names in the transposed data set. So how can we control the names of these variables? We add a few options to the PROC transpose statement. The name equals option in the PROC transpose statement is used to specify the name of the variable in the transpose data set that contains the variable names that are being transposed in the original data set. In this example, we use var name to replace the default name underscore name underscore. The label equals option is used to specify the name for the variable that contains the labels of the variables that are being transposed. We use label name to replace the default name underscore label underscore. The prefix equals option is used to place a prefix in the transposed variable names. In our example, we use score underscore as the prefix. You can also use the suffix equals option to attach a suffix in the transposed variable name. In the transposed data set, score underscore one contains the scores for John and score underscore two contains the scores for Mary. How can we change the variable names to score underscore John and score underscore Mary? In this program, the var statement lists the variables that are being transposed. However, since the transposed variables were not specified, proc transpose will transpose all the numeric variables. Thus, whether or not we specify this var statement will give the same result. We can use the id statement to specify the variable from the input data set that contains the values to rename the transposed variables. By adding the id statement with the s underscore name variable, the transposed variables are name score underscore John and score underscore Mary. Without specifying the prefix equals option, the transposed variables will simply be John and Mary. We can use more than one variable in the id statement. This time, the s underscore name and s underscore id variables are used in the id statement, and the delim equals option is also used. Notice that the transposed variable names are created by concatenating the s underscore name and the s underscore id variables, and separated by an underscore, which is specified by the delim equals option. PROC transpose has an id label statement that uses values from a variable from the input data set to label the transposed variable. In this example, we use the s underscore id variable in the id label statement. Based on the partial output from PROC contents, we can see that the transposed variables, score underscore John, and score underscore Mary are labeled with A01 and A02 respectively. So far, we have discussed transposing all the observations for selected variables. The following section will focus on transposing by groups. We will still use the same input data set to illustrate some examples. This program transposes DAT1 by using S underscore name as the by variable. You can specify more than one variable in the by statement. To use the by statement in PROC transpose, the data set must be previously sorted by using the same by variable. The by variable is not transposed. 
Here is the printed output from the transpose data set. The number of observations in the transpose data set, which is 6, equals the number of by groups, which is 2, times the number of variables that are transposed, which is 3. The number of transposed variables equals the number of observations, within each by group in the input data set. Thus, in this example, the number of transposed variables is 1, with a default name of call 1. In this example, we add the copy statement. We can use the copy statement, to copy one or more variables from the input data set directly, to the transpose data set. In this example, we use the copy statement, to copy the s underscore id variable from the input data set. Since there are two observations from the input data set, the number of observations that will be copied will be two as well. SAS pads the missing values to the rest of the observations. Remember that, the id statement is used to specify the variable from the input data set, that contains the values to rename the transposed variables. Can we add an id statement to this program? Here is the printed transposed data by using the id statement. After adding the id statement, the transposed values now occupy two columns, with a01 and a02 as their variable names. The problem is that we are using the s underscore id variable, which contains two values, to name the transposed variable, that was supposed to occupy only one column. When is a good situation for using the ID statement, for transposing data set by groups? Here is a new data set, that contains the testing scores for John and Mary. All the scores are stored under the score variable. Each score is distinguished by the exam number. Notice that Mary is missing score for exam number 2. This program transposes dat2 by the name variable. The resulting transpose data set has two observations, which equals the number of by groups, which is 2, times the number of variables that are transposed, which is 1. The problem with the transpose data set is that, the third test score, 81, for Mary, is placed in the location for the second test score. Now we need to fix the problem, by using the exam variable in the ID statement. In addition, the prefix equals option is also used to add test underscore as the prefix, for transposed variable names. Sometimes data sets that we encounter contain duplicated records. For example, in this data set, there are double entries of the scores for the third test. For situations with duplicated records, we may want to keep only one record, such as keeping either the largest, or the smallest of the duplicated entries. The let option from the proc transpose statement allows us to keep the last occurrence of a particular ID value, within either the entire data set, or A by group. This program transposes the input data, by keeping the largest value of each exam, within each group of the name variable. Thus, we need to sort the data by S underscore name, first, followed by exam, and then score in ascending order. If we want to keep the smallest score, instead of the largest in the transposed data, we need to sort s underscore name and exam in ascending order, and then sort score in descending order. In some applications, simply transposing data once, will not produce the desired results. For example, to transpose dat4 to dat4 underscore transpose, we need to use proc transpose twice. To create this transpose data, we need to create a transitional data set, like the one on this slide. Then we can transpose this transitional data set, by using testNOM as the by variable. So how do we create this transitional data set? We can transpose the input data, by using the s underscore name variable as the by variable first. After transposing the input data, by using the s underscore name variable as the by variable, we will obtain the data set, on the bottom left of this slide. Then we can sort this transpose data, by testNOM and the s underscore name variables, to create the transitional data. The testNOM variable can be created, by extracting the last character from the underscore name underscore variable. Now, let us write our program. In step 1, we transpose the input data set by s underscore name. In the next step, we create the variables testNOM and class, from underscore name underscore by using the substir function. In step 3, we sort this data by testNOM and s underscore name. 
In the final step, the second transpose procedure, is used to transpose the call1 variable, by the variable test nom, and to use name and class as the ID variables. The names of the transposed variables, are separated by the underscore, from the delimiter equals option. Now, let's review what we've learned from this video. In this video, we learned how to transpose an entire data set, or a data set by groups, by using PROC transpose. In some situations, we need to transpose data more than once to obtain the result. PROC transpose is a powerful procedure, to perform data transposition. In addition to grasping the syntax, more importantly, we need to know, when best to utilize different options and statements, to achieve the desired results. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get new video updates.